Hi, welcome to the EMNLP 2021 tutorial, Crowdsourcing Beyond Annotation, Case Studies in Benchmark Data Collection. My name is Yoav Artsy, and I'll be presenting this tutorial together with Elaine Zor, Clara Vanya, Nikita Nangia, Martin Sapp, Mark Yatskar, and Sam Bauman. This introduction segment will be presented by myself in the online videos and by Sam Bauman in person in the conference. Crowdsourcing is a fundamental uh, tool in data-driven LMP, both in practice and in research, for over a decade now. But although critical, crowdsourcing often receives uh, limited attention in papers and teaching materials. And this is partially because it's been really challenging to formulate general principles for, for effective crowdsourcing. So instead, the use of crowdsourcing is guided by common practices and personal experience. The goal of this tutorial is to serve as an educational resource for the discussion of a diverse set of case studies. The tutorial will start with a brief, brief background section, followed by five case studies which will be presented in order, each separately. We have a relatively large team and very diverse, uh, including Elaine, Nikita, Clara, Mark, Martin, Sam, and myself, representing a diverse set of uses uh, of crowdsourcing tools. The videos will be available following the conference online in segmented form to allow for comfortable viewing. During the conference, we will experiment with utilizing the hybrid format presentation of EMNLP. All the videos will be made available online prior to the conference and will become publicly available following the conference. During the tutorial slot in EMNLP, instead of just going through the videos or redoing the, the presentation, we will conduct a live clinic in person and via Zoom. So we ask you to watch the videos in advance of the conference itself. The Zoom link for the clinic will be available via Underline, the conference portal. So what is this clinic? The clinic will take place live in person and via Zoom during the tutorial slot in EMNLP. Just to give you a frame of reference, this will be Wednesday, November 10, between 8 and 11.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, or if you are in person at the conference, between 9 a.m. and 12.30 p.m. We will start with about 30 minutes of uh, introduction and background, similar to the one that we are presenting in the videos. However, we will not go through uh, the case studies for which the videos are available online. The rest of the time will be dedicated to question answering, discussion, and our own best effort advice. We are happy to discuss the case studies that we, that we are presenting in the tutorial, and even more, exciting, more excited to discuss your own crowdsourcing scenarios, especially the more challenging and open problem ones. The case studies display, uh, display the case studies we present in this tutorial display a high diversity diversity of task setups, reasoning, and data skills. So just to give you a, just to give you an idea, the kind of inputs that we are that we are going to discuss range from single sentences, text for complete text interactions, images, and all the way to complete situated interactions. The outputs range from classification labels, span predictions, and complete generated sequences. And the sizes diverse greatly from 24,000 examples in the smallest of the, of the data set collected to over half a million one in the largest one. We will discuss five case studies. The first one is Analyze, where the task is textual entertainment recognition. This is a text-only reasoning task and it has two very popular variants for single or multi-domain, so SNLI and multi-NLI, and we will discuss both of them. NLI, and SNLI and multi-NLI are some of the most popular benchmarks in NLP in recent years and have, and have been driving significant progress in the field. The second benchmark we will discuss is NLVR, where the task is to classify a statement truth value with regard to a pair of images. This is a multimodal task that requires reasoning about text and images, and we will discuss two variants of it, one that includes synthetic images and one that uses internet photos. NLVR has been a key driver in the recent development of pre-trained models in langu for language and vision. 
The third case study is serial bar, where the tasks that have been studied include instruction execution and generation. Serial bar provides a situated collaborative interaction. In a, in, in, in a game-like environment implemented using a Unity a game development engine. The fourth benchmark uh, is Quack. The fourth case study, sorry, is Quack, where the task is span-based question answering in interactions. So here you have here you have to take you have to do span-based question answering, and you have to do it within a complete textual interaction between a teacher and a student that are where the teacher are answering questions about Wikipedia articles. Quack has been a key data set in the study of spend-based question answering beyond the single answer scenario. And the final and fifth benchmark case study we will discuss is a social IQA. The task is multiple choice question answering and the domain is common sense reasoning about social situations. So we are looking forward to see you in EMNLP I'm putting here the times at different places around the world of the tutorial, and you can scan this QR code in order to get your specific time zone.